Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know this isn't a chiropractic video, but it's like day 55 of quarantine. <laughs> Please send help. And I'm semi bored and I'm sure you guys are bored. So I'm making a video purely for entertainment purposes. Definitely not a how-to video. Um, definitely don't do this yourself at home like I did. <laughs> but we're doing stick and poke. And where are we stick and poking? Well, side note, I um, messed up the first one. So we redid the second one on my ankle. <laughs> And that happens sometimes. So just be aware that things don't always turn out how you want them to, um, but it's okay <laughs> because it'll wash off eventually and we'll be good. Um, okay, I think we're done here. All right, so let's get started. First, we'll start off with all the supplies that you'll need. So I picked up this box of meals from Amazon. Um, it's a pack of like a hundred. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, it's kind of scary that Amazon sells needles, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to need some ink. And this is like the most natural ink I could find. It's called Japanese Tattoo Ink. Um, it has like water, glycerin, alcohol, and then the pigment in it. So you can also have a lighter to clean the needle. Not really necessary though, because they're already sterile. Um, and some gloves, because the ink gets um, everywhere, even though I hate wearing gloves. And then you'll also need these little dish ink holders or whatever you have. Um, some paper towels. One you're gonna need to get wet with soap and the other one for the isopropyl alcohol. Um, and then just some spray to spread on the table. So then you're gonna find yourself a surface um, and a cat. <laughs> so that'll do. Uh, just close the door, throw that book off, and um, break your light pretty much. Just... Okay. <laughs> cool. So that'll do. I'm um, just gonna take this table. Sorry that it's like disgusting. I spray painted it and it just, yeah, just clean it off. It's fine. And then this is tracing paper. Now, as you can see, messed up first butterfly. Not even going to end up doing the butterfly. The tracing paper didn't even work. So, um, I just freehand it. I think it's easier. Ready? In three, two, oh. Yep, there it is. Okay. So put the paper towel down. There's your soapy paper towel. Here is the needle. Um, it's a liner, and then the smaller the number, the like smaller the needle is. Oh okay. uh, yeah, you get ink all over. So put some gloves on. Ow. Um, yeah, just pour some ink in the cap. Break it open again. You don't have to light this because it's already sterile. Oh, here's the butterfly that I'm... Yeah, no. Okay. But yeah, didn't work out. So then we moved on to the ankle. I really recommend just doing like a really simple geometric straight line circle design. So I chose a sun. I might go back and add some more stuff to it later, but you pretty much just start drawing the lines. And then once you've completed your design, you're going to end up wiping it off like that and their ink gets everywhere so this is the soapy paper towel and then you're gonna go back over it like a couple different times just until that line is like thicker and the ink absorbs ah and here's the finished product I'm probably gonna go over it a couple more times <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 